the Tampa Bay Lightning are going back to the Stanley Cup Finals and they have a chance to defend their crown as they've defeated the New York Islanders 1-0 in Game 7 in their home building. Crazy, and we'll do a quick video before we start. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and we're back right into it. And for the Islanders, it's tough because they're going home again, and they're not going back to the Stanley Cup Finals as they're sent packing by the same team twice in two years. So what went wrong for the Islanders? Well, for starters, and this is not everything, but partially things, uh, Braden Point was something that I talked about, saying that they were going to have to contain him. Didn't work. He scored in six out of the seven games in the series. There were so many Lightning players that played a factor, but he was a big point for them. Six goals in seven games, six in the first six games, that is. And, you know, in general, that's just not going to work. Another thing that was so brutal was the power play for the Islanders talked about this in my preview. I said they were not going to be able to repeat what they did the year before where they went 2 for 19 on the power play against a good team like the Tampa Bay Lightning. They were going to have to do better. They unfortunately did not. I believe in the series they went 1 for 17. Terrible. They actually scored as many goals on the power play as Tampa Bay did on the PK, unfortunately, with this game, which is ironic because of how it went. The power play was a downfall, I think, a big part of this of this series. And, of course, they gave up their goal off the power play. And that really hurts for them. Finally, while it doesn't sum up everything, you know they just got Vasilevsky. I am going to coin that phrase. I'm going to say that phrase. They got Vasilevsky. That's the fact of the matter. Andre Vasilevsky, one of the best goalies in the league. And what I mean by that is he looked good in the series. He only gave up three goals twice in the series, had two shutouts, and before this game, his save percentage was 933. It's only going to go up from here. And, you know, for the majority of the series, the Lightning were able to play just in general better than the Islanders. But either way, Vasilevsky just, he was really good. And there was one game in there, I believe it was game three, where, yeah, the Islanders did outplay the Lightning. But Vasilevsky stepped up at the right time when the Lightning weren't able to get their game to quick. And it's tough. So... For the Islanders, which I'm really disappointed about because I wanted the Islanders to win. It's a heartbreaking loss to the same team in the same round as last year. You did make it farther, so I guess theoretically if you met up again next year, you should theoretically win it. Um, but on both occasions, they were denied a Stanley Cup Finals appearance, and the Stanley Cup Finals appearance drought is extended another year. Still an impressive year. I know it's hard right now. It's really rough. But, uh, hey, you just got beat by a team that is going back to the Stanley Cup Finals that won it last year, and that's it. And for the Lightning, they push this narrative that they're able to, you know, defend their throne and be a defending champion that goes into this series, and they make their third Stanley Cup Finals appearance in seven years. Really tough, really heartbreaking for the Islanders. Feel free, Islanders fans, Lightning fans, congratulations on another chance to win another championship what do you think this series and what do you think of this series? And also, who do you think will win next series and in how many games? The Montreal Canadiens or the Tampa Bay Lightning? Let me down, know down in the comments down below. Also, please make sure to like and subscribe. Everybody stay safe. Have a great night and stay away from COVID. Also, if you're in Tampa Bay, please be safe. Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.